Hi everybody. In today's video, I'm going to be flying from Paris to London in my new F-15. I'm trying to learn how to fly. They say it's going to take 44 minutes to go 184 knots, but I think we're going to do it in about 15, maybe 20 is probably what it'll take. I've read it doesn't actually go supersonic, but Mach 1 is still pretty fast. That's, you know, 7... 60 or whatever the heck that is. Okay, give this just a second. Probably should have paused it, but too late now. I'm not going to talk a whole lot once we start flying. I just wanted to fill you in on what I'm trying to do. I tried to make something for Memorial Day, but didn't quite make it, so I've had a week to fly around with it. Probably got a little better, but I still, it's harder to fly than the little Cessna. But it goes a lot faster, that's the, the whole point. That's why I bought it. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Now... Okay, make sure I've got our... Okay, we appear to be going the right way. We're just going to go right over the English Channel. And that's like most of the trip. I may go a little north, so we're over land a little bit more. Or a little... Yeah, I guess that's north. Kind of north... Uh, east is what I think it is. Alright, so we'll go ahead and go supersonic. And I probably won't talk much after that. Might look at the map a couple times just to make sure I'm going the right way. That's Heathrow right there or not. The airports seem bigger. Maybe airports are really big, but it seems like airports seem bigger in comparison to... Seems like I'm pretty low to the ground. I better pull up a little. Okay, I'm still going right. I'm going to go a little bit this way. So our amount of time over the water is not as much because I can't... It's hard for me to judge how high up I am with the uh, over water plus it's just not I mean it's kind of neat when you're near the coast but it's kind of boring to just stare at the water I bet uh, cross continental inter intercontinental flights international flights probably get really boring for pilots I'm sure I've talked to some that tell me most of the time their planes doing everything they're just like you know, sitting there checking on stuff. Thank you. 
as a programmer, this game still just blows me away. And I do some 3D animation, and <clears throat> I could spend the rest of my life and not create a city that looked like that. Oh, we're suddenly losing our ability to uh, just guide around like I was trying to. Okay, now we're going straight down. All right, gravity eventually takes over. Bam. Okay, well, thanks for flying with us. Uh, that was technically a landing. We'll uh, go to our drone and make a uh, very quick, oops, very brief tour of the Eiffel Tower. I've been there before in another video, but we'll just go over there. Let's see how far it is from, oops, need some rotation speed. Okay. Here it is. I need more drone speed than that. slow down once we get over there yeah just all this city AI stuff this is what I know it's like involving pictures or some things AI creates but still still amazing okay we arrived at our destination welcome over here by the water view I don't know what that's called I guess that's like French Parliament or something somebody Smarter than me, probably. No, now we got the sun in our eyes a little bit, but that's okay. All right, we ended our video on the Eiffel Tower. We made it officially. If you don't count crashing a jet, but we'll see how long it takes. Let me do my quick little 17 minutes. Thanks for watching.